us get this ball rolling. Um, where is Factory? There it is. Okay. load up I may need to adjust the uh, I may need to adjust the encoders thing. I don't really test it out. You will have to Yeah, why is everything like um There we go. Okay, now everything's working again, which is always good to see. It was just having a little- it was just being a little bit weird when I was trying to boot up. I don't know why. I don't know why Factorio was being a little bit weird. Mind you, we are using the experimental version. We are using, like, a development version. So, you know, uh... Expect- expect some level of, like, stability, uh, weirdness as far as that goes when you're using, like, any sort of, like, um beta version. Anyway, though, let me go ahead and I will just... Alright, um... Set that to always on top. One of the things I am doing is I am using a bit more encoder power. Basically, basically, I have my, uh, I have my encoder tune to, like, uh, to, like, faster instead of, like, very fast. So I'm gonna see how that runs. Um, should have probably, should have probably done a basic test stream. Hmm. I mean, if I was actually a professional at this business, if I actually acted like I knew what the hell I was doing, I probably would have remembered to actually test these new encoder settings. But I'm sure it's not gonna explode, ultimately. Uh, where's, like, the multiplayer live? Or, no, that's not the- that's not the one. Where's the single player? There it is, single player fi- Where's my light? where's my- I guess we're gonna have to use the audit the autosave because my live stream is apparently gone. Yeah, luckily we do have the hot the uh, the autosave. I'm not sure what happened, uh, but the uh, save system did not actually work uh, correctly. Well, it's a good thing we do have this autosave. Because, um, I did get, like, a different operating system. I actually had to, uh, switch from Linux Mint to over to Ubuntu. Uh, and it would appear that it a lot- that we lost some progress. Luckily, though, um, which one of these is, like, the most recent autosave? It would be that one. Okay. Don't show the tips and ticks. Go away. Tips and ticks, you know what I mean. Huh, this is not where I was in the last stream. This is not at all where I was supposed to be. I guess this will have to do. Oh god, we still have all of this shit off the line. There we go, cleared a bit more of that line. There we are, lovely. Alright, so apparently we are gonna have to rebuild all of this, which... I mean, it kind of sucks, really. But what are you gonna do? I mean, at least the autosave system saved me, which I guess is what it's supposed to do. <coughs> uh, 
Alright, so... I'm just glad that we have the majority of our progress back. I am quite a bit happy about that. Right, meanwhile... Um, what's the last bit of the components we need? We need to get green circuits. Oh, right, we need to get green circuits and the other thing online. It shouldn't be too bad to get the, to get set up. And then we can quite frankly just do this. And then we'll have our express belts go down over here. And then quite frankly, you can meet up. Oh, that doesn't actually connect. Oh. Is that connect? That does actually connect in a way that is satisfactory. Good, good, good. Nice to see you. Rightio. Um, we do have our, um... Oh, I was like, what the shit is that? Now, as you might be able to tell, we're using some of the uh, fancier... We're using the high-resolution graphics. Or at least we should be. Are we using them? Yes, we're using high sprite resolution. Um... Now, technically, we could turn up the light re uh, the light render resolution. Sure, what could possibly go wrong? Mess with that a little bit. There we go, turn up the lighting. Probably makes it a bit easier to see on the old monitor. There we go. Rightio. Uh, I do need to trash some more items because, quite frankly, my inventory is really, really backed up. Um, let's go ahead and get some... Um, I guess slap some medium electrics down. Medium electrics will work in this scenario. Um, then we can quite frankly just do that. Um, that, and then that, and then that. I know it's a little bit of wire hell, but you know what, it's fine. Uh, right, ultimately our backlog though is that I forgot to connect this. There we go, that's now connected to the system. Perfecto. You should very slowly trickle in all of the necessary wiring uh, to pow to uh, get like twice as many red sir. Holy shit! There's a lot of robots. There are a lot of robots right now. Holy bananas, McGee! Those are a lot of bots. Let's wait for these bots to come by then. Delivery service. Um, that's not actually producing enough wire. That is actually not uh, giving us enough wire. Um, yeah, the ratios generally don't work, so don't trust them. Uh, the ratios for, like, Factorio stuff don't actually work. Like, for example, this is supposed to only take one of these machines, and it actually does take in two uh, to get it to work, as we have proven twice now. We've actually proven that multiple times now that the uh, ratios don't quite work as well as they m as one might think. There we go, clear up that line a little bit. Get that little bit as well. I don't really need all that copper. Just in my inventory, I don't really need it. Um, let's make sure to copy this, and then paste. There we go. Now you should be able to saturate the uh, line with double the input. There we go. Alrighty then, lovely, lovely, jubbly. Yeah, that should very slowly trickle in, so that way that our science is gonna get done uh, a lot faster. I feel that this is gonna help a lot, actually. A lot, a lot. Okay, you're taking away all my all of my goodies, which is always lovely to see. Quite frankly, we should throw away these transport belts, just the basic ones. <coughs> I don't really need the basic transport belts. In fact, I don't need all these splitters either. Oh, I can't put them away, never mind. Do, 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 do. Man, we really need to get these bots upgraded or something. It'd kind of be a good idea. Uh, how are we doing frame rate wise? We are getting about a constant 60 frames. 
Yep, we're getting a constant 60 frames on a uh, higher encoder power. We are going up to like 70% CPU load, but it's fine. That should be all right. As long as you're getting a constant frame rate, then that means that everything sh is actually going all right. And I, I just need to check the encoder stats. We are, we are doing fine. Getting that constant 60 frame life, which is always nice to see. I do like the high resolution graphics. They are nice to look at. You can definitely tell the difference. Um, not really, it's not like that noticeable or anything. It's like kind of noticeable. Uh, let's just slowly bite off the last little bits of these chunks. I'm trying to filter out as much of this crap as possible. If I can. It's gonna take about a billion years. But eventually, it will happen. We will stop getting these goddamn... Uh, there it is. There's a little chunk. Damn it, there's another one. Balls. Balls McGee. Um, ah! Greatest control scheme ever. All right. Okay, and then that little chunk of there we go, that should be all of it. Nope, there was one little chunk left. Just to bother the hell out of me, right. We should really get some more RoboPorts down around the place. We really should ex- I think that'll be what I'll focus on, is extending our RoboPort range. Where are they? There's the little guys. Okay, what am I missing? I'm missing steel. Alright, give me some steel then. They were in what section? Is it production? No, it's not. Oh shit, you're trying to build by hand. Like an idiot. Only an idiot would build by hand, right. Okay, let's go ahead and get some more roboports. We're still out of steel is our problem. So let's get a little bit more. Now we're out of gear wheels. It does take quite a lot to actually extend your roboport range. Um... Okay, so that guy over there is gonna allow me to extend things out by quite a lot. Uh, so you're saying that right about there is as far as you'll let me. Alright, let's get some power to this then. Uh, we did just get productivity modules, uh, complete rated. Now we need to focus on the rocket shooting speeds. All right, let's go ahead and get that done. And then it's going to be a matter of how do we build an actual rocket. That's going to be the tricky part, is actually getting the game complete rated. Uh, I don't see any lines I can use. There's a line I can use. Perfect. Okay, same sort of idea over here. We're just going to run as far as this thing will let me, which is about there. And then we do need to uh, cover the other side of this. Yeah, we can put it down, like, over here. I, I would say it's a fine location as any. This is gonna increase our power usage, but at least it's gonna increase, like, how far out we can go. There it is. There's that one. Um, here's my question. Well, let me, like, if I hold... No, it doesn't actually do that. That is stupid. It doesn't actually do the thing. That is kind of dumb. As all hell. Um, take one of our big electric poles. There they are. Why are my Why are my poles on my correct slots? I must have accidentally moved them. <clears throat> now that has power, which is good to see. And we just need to get a robo port with the network. Wait. Okay, there we go. Now it's actually.
Let's go like about there. Seems like a decent. Why can't I place it there? Oh, because I was sitting on top of the place I was trying to place it right. That does make a lot of sense. Um. Really now. Okay. There we go. We now have much more RoboNet coverage. I mean, it's not like the best system in the world, but it's gonna be all right. In all honesty, it is kind of, it is all right. Um, there we go. First level of rocket shooting speed. We're gonna go down the tree. We're gonna start to build a rocket. We're gonna get the fuck off this island. It's gonna be amazing, you guys. Meanwhile, what are other things I could do? I could actually uh, get like the majority of this over to the um, express belt. Let's go ahead and start to upgrade these to express then. There we go. Plus that clears out my a lot of my inventory issues, which would kind of be nice. So it does actually make a lot of sense to do this. Just because I've got too much crap in my inventory and I need to start using it. Um, when objects are being damaged, is this a sentry turret? As long as it doesn't actually get blown up, we're alright. Which it did not, it managed to survive the, uh, violent attack. On Titan. Wait, why did my sound go out? Oh no, my sound didn't go out, we're fine. I was like, I thought for a second there. I was like, what? The bejeebus? Oh, and apparently I haven't upgraded this last section over here to the express type for the, uh, for the bus network. Right, let's go and get, like, some express splitters down and along over here. Rightio, then. Chip, chip, cheerio, and all that jazz. Right. Just upgrade all of the things so we have maximal bandwidth. We probably don't even need to do this. I mean, realistically, we don't, but you know what? It probably helps. Probably helps a lot. I mean, I say it helps. I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. And now we're physically not producing enough iron to supply the gear wheels again. God damn it. And we're not producing enough because there's not enough... Oh, there's not enough raw resources. On the line is our uh, is our issue right now. Okay, so that's what's going on. I was like, what is actually going on with this? It's because we're draining our iron supply again, which is fair enough, really. That is actually a legitimate problem. Right, let's get rid of all these ones that are just wasting electricity. You don't really want to be wasting too much electricity. Like we have nuclear power, but we don't want to waste it. You know, I mean, sure, we have basically infinite power at this stage, but I'd rather not, uh, I, I'd rather try to utilize it in a way that is satisfactory. <clears throat> right. Let us start to, uh, utilize the last little bits of our iron supply. Oh, all of this has been drained? Really now? Wow, that did not last as long as it should have. That's weird. Yeah, all of that actually got drained. I, I'm a little bit shocked. I'm not actually sure how that's possible. But, uh, whatever game, I guess it is. I don't know. We might need to get an iron train later on. Like, I'm starting to think that getting an iron train... Where would we even have an iron train? Oh, the nearest iron train would be that one point... Oh no, we have another iron supply we could use down here, and then train that. We could actually train that. The question is, how? How do you plan on training that? And the honest-to-God answer is I have no idea. Not a clue. Um, technically you could have the train stop Oh, I don't know, about here, and then that would work, and then you could load it off into here. Um, because basically you could have, like, underground belts, 
and then basically like have a station that drops off about here uh roughly and goes from like here to about here roughly alternatively you could just have it um drop off over here but there's actual rails in the way <clears throat> i'm just thinking about like our solution long term to get like that one million iron supply that would help us out a lot i'm, I am just thinking about it and i think i can see a rational solution for now though we're gonna do the temporary thing i'm gonna have to cut that off balls Okay, I'm not the only one who's noticing that the sound is randomly cutting off. Why is this... I don't know, turn up my volume. Did my headphones go out? Please, God, don't tell me my headphones. I just got these headphones. I'm really hoping that did not happen. Okay, very professional stream. We're gonna try and run a sound test in the middle of the stream. Did these fucking things actually go out just now? Front, left, front. Okay, right. they're not actually out. Okay, we're good, you guys. I, I just had to run a sound test. And no, we actually do have sound. It's just that Factorio has broken for some reason. There we go, now the sounds work. Why does it keep doing that? Why? I don't understand. I am not getting why it keeps doing that at all. That is such a glitch. That is one of the weirdest glitches I've had to uh, deal with in Factorio in a long time. Right, let's go ahead and put like one of the bad boys. And then, quite frankly, we can do like a... There we go. Perfecto. We should probably also upgrade these to like, um, to like some of the, um... To some of these express belts. So let's just go ahead and actually get these things upgraded. So that way that they can, uh, that they can better saturate the lines. Same thing up here, realistically. Just get these upgraded to the, uh, to the nice blue belt. Ah! Ah! There we go, come on. Try and upgrade these. Why does the sound keep randomly cutting off? I'm gonna have to report that, uh, to the, uh, to the bug reports on Factorio. Why does the sound keep randomly cutting off? And it's not the encoder, it's not like it's not like it's because I'm live streaming. No, the live stream is actually working fine. It's just it's just Factorio's being weird. I don't know why it keeps doing that. It keeps cutting off at random. It's so annoying. Oh wait, we don't actually need to upgrade any of this. In fact, we can just cut it off. Because that line is completely dead now. Dead to us. Dead, Jim. Right, that is oversaturated. So let's go ahead and help it out a lot. I really have no idea why the sound uh, keeps doing that. That is weird. That is like the strangest shit I've had to deal with in a long time. As like someone who has like a hundred hours of Factorio, that is some strange ass shit that I ain't never had to deal with before. Okay, that's as far as we can upgrade that. Are we actually saturating all these lines now? We are uh, just very slowly. We're not actually making it all the way over to that side, but we are managing to saturate a little bit. We're getting enough iron now that we are producing enough gear wheels ultimately, which is the good part. Um, these haven't been upgraded to like fast or anything. 
So let's actually have these upgraded. That's a little bit stupid AF. That's a little bit stupid. Right, there's like your big bottleneck is that this hasn't been upgraded at all. So that should now allow it, that should now allow this line to actually work at full capacity. Just to make sure that's not bottlenecking at all. There you go, see, now it's, now it's working a lot better. There we go. Oh yeah, and these lines still don't have enough gear wheels to produce everything. Which is fine, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Uh, there we go, we're getting like express belt for days. Express belt for days! Lovely, lovely jubbly. But yeah, the sound keeps cutting out on like Factorio, and I don't know why. I'm gonna have to complain to the developers and be like, why is this a thing that's happening? There's no sound. There is physically no sound in my Factorio game. Why? Why is this happening? Well, I guess it's fine for right now. Anyway, though. Um, what is missing over here? We don't have any... Oh, because there's no advanced circuits and there's no... Oh wait, there's no stone bricks. Oh, shit. Oh. What happened? Let's try and figure out the mystery. But yeah, I don't have any sound at all anymore. There's just no sound. I'm I'm so confused. Okay, now I could hear I could hear a little bit of footsteps. I could hear a little bit of footsteps. Um that is so that is so weird. Right, let's go back to the stone mine. What happened over here? Oh, we're completely bottlenecked on stone. We need to find like a new stone supplier, uh, which will be that one up there. Unfortunately, we will have to go up against a biter nest. Uh, there's my tank. I believe that's my tank. I would like to say it is. I need to go grab it. Um, hopefully that is. We are gonna need to go up against a biter nest and I can't go up against it with just the basic armaments that I have, which is not really much. Well, I mean, we'll just, we'll just get it fixed. I, I know I should have done it in the last episode. I should have done it in the last live stream. I know, I should have fixed it. Meh. I just, di I just didn't feel like doing it. I'll be perfectly honest with you guys. I let it become a problem, and here we are. So, you know, can't really change the past, it's fine. Uh, it's all the way down there. Seriously, sound work. Sound! Oops. Ah, god damn it, go away. Stupid trees. Dumb trees. Wait a minute, that was my car. Oh my god, I almost drove my car into the... That's not a tank. That is not actually a tank. Um... Wait a minute, this is still powering. What? Cut that off. There we go. Alright, we need to find our tank. Where exactly is it? Do you see it? Because I certainly, as all hell, do not. It's all the way down there. Okay, brilliant. We know it's along the railway tracks. So we'll just follow the rail tracks until we find the tank. It'll be fine, you guys. It'll be absolutely a-okay. 
Okay, I at least can hear my footsteps now. That is the good news, is I can hear my footsteps. If I were my tank, where or oh, where would I be? There it is, there's the little guy. There you are, hello, I would like to repair you. Damn it, I need more repair packs. Unfortunately, we're not in the robot coverage uh, network. So, um, you know, I really do need to get like a personal RoboPort. That might not be my worst plan to get like some sort of personal RoboPort thing. Would kind of be a decent idea in all fairness. Driving along, gonna shoot some biters tonight. Driving along, gonna shoot some biters tonight. Tonight, I'm gonna be shooting the biters. Shooting the biters tonight. All right. Okay, so we're gonna very slowly drive our tank towards the enemy base. There we go. And my lasers are helping a little bit. Yay for lasers. Firing my laser. Right, well that was pretty easy to deal with. Da 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 deal. Da 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 duel. Okay. Man, this is pretty far out in the middle of Timbuktu, isn't it? Um... We could use a train. The problem is, is that a train is going to be a big old pain in my ass. And honestly, we don't need to have... Let, let's put it this way. We don't actually need to have, like, stupidly fast uh, delivery of stone. We literally only have two stone furnaces. I think just using a belt line and going about a billion yards, I think that's going to suffice. Honestly, I don't think we need to go the extra mile here. Well, let's put it that way. I, I doubt seriously we're gonna need to go the extra mile with this. We could go the extra mile. There's no reason not to. It's just that I am way, way too lazy for that life. Way, way, way too lazy to go the extra mile. I'll be perfectly frank with you guys. I am just I I just can't be asked. I honestly cannot be asked to get off to get off my booty all and do it right like yeah I could I could easily get a train over here it's just gonna require so much bleeping effort that I would rather tear my eyes out than do it if I had to pick between eyeball tearage and just doing it this way I would probably uh, just do it this way, or wait. I think I destroyed the metaphor at some point. Crap. I may have destroyed the metaphor at some point. I don't know. Look, man, you try doing commentary and see how well it goes. Man. Shit, man. Jesus. We are getting a couple messages here and there about, like, encoder overloaded stuff. Let me try and, like, reboot the stream real fast. It'll just take me, like, less than a second. And I'll just go ahead and, like, reboot the stream and see if that will uh, help our audio issues. Because the audio is definitely not working, and I'm going to try and get that fixed. Let's try getting this fixerated. Did uh, one little setting, which was the encoder power. Uh, preset so I so I slightly adjusted the encoder power and hopefully that should fix our audio uh, weirdness it was really weird it was like super weird I don't know what was going on with the audio let's see if that let's see if that's actually resolverated our issues don't know if it's going to but it could it could quite possibly Resolverate our issues. 
shit, you... Oh. Balls. Balls, McGee. Right, let's go ahead and get this. Ah, uh, there's a stupid forest in the way. There we go. Get rid of the dumb forest in our way. What is this? Oh, objects are being damaged. It's probably all right. As long as nothing's actually getting blown up, then I am all right with it. Like, well, what you gonna do? Do we do? Eh, crap. Let's just very quickly go. Ugh. Okay, there's now rocks in my way. There's a good. There's a couple of trees in the way. Brilliant. Okay. We got rid of all that, which is good to see. And yes, we could be using express belts. Again, I don't really think we need it. We don't really need, like, the distribution. I mean, we don't even need the distribution of a ta of a train, realistically. We don't really need, like, that distribution life. Normally, I would say absolutely go for a train here. This is insane. But in this scenario, it's like, well, do I need the high speed of a train to deliver some rocks? I don't really think I need the high speed of a train to deliver a couple of rocks. I seriously doubt it. All right, are we getting any encoder overloaded mess? What happened? What the hell? Oh, damn it, OBS. Why did you just break? OBS just decided to break a little bit. Damn it, OBS. There we go. OBS is unbroken. Okay, OBS, can you just... Right, transform. Uh... There we go. There we go. All right, OBS decided to do something a little bit stupid. All right. Uh, but yes, I don't see anything wrong with, like, the encoder. Okay, we're good. We are good. Right, I was just double-checking everything one more time. Let's just go across the road like that, then. Okay, the audio is still not- is still broken. Which is not the best. Damn it. Um... That's not gonna... How is that not gonna power anything? Uh, what? How? Just use like that. There you go. Alright. Man, the audio breaking is so weird. Such a weird thing. I've never had to deal with that before in all my years of, uh, of playing with, like, a Factorio. By years, I mean I barely played this game for like one. Let's be honest, you guys. In all my days, I should say, there's a more accurate statement. In all my days of playing Factorio, I have never had this become an issue where like the audio has just decided to go kaput. And it has. I have tried to fix it, and it is not fixing it. Damn it, this is what happens when you play in the experimental version of an early access game. This is what happens. I'm gonna blame it on early access. Because that would be my best excuse here. For why this is happening. Because I otherwise have no clue. Slowly boiling my brain right now. But it's fine. Uh, can I build like a substation? There you go. Make my... Oh, God. I really do feel that the uh, that the substations definitely need a buff. What they could do, actually, that would be that would pretty much fix all the substation issues, is just give it a longer pull reach. Like the substations should really be able to stretch as far as a long distance pull can. So I feel that a big that big electric pole and a substation should have the same distance. Basically, would be kind of ideal. Meanwhile, though, we're getting all the stone down here.
Yep, I have no idea why the, um, not a clue. Not a clue why this is happening. Uh, there's no stone. Oh, there it is. It's just slowly trickling by. All right, there we go. Uh, now that's line. Now that line is broken. Okay, try using a, um, try using one of these mediums. Wait, what? That didn't... Try that. There we go. Now you can work again. Well, kind of. You don't have any actual uh, concrete to do it with. Man, we're producing 30 megawatts right now. Uh, just with... And that's only with 12 of them. That's only with about 12 uh, steam turbines. There we go. We're now producing the much-needed uh, resources. To, uh, to start to produce all these things. Which is pretty damn good, I feel. So now we should have stone bricks being made. Lovely, lovely jubbly. Uh, excuse me? Right. So now that should very slowly trickle down all the way over here and allow us to get uh, science packs produced once again, which I will love to see. Lovely, lovely jubbly. Uh, two turrets are engaged with the enemy. It's probably fine. I mean, I say it's fine. It, meh. Eh, it's probably fine. Okay. Yep, and meanwhile, this, um, this line is actually completely backlogged because obviously we're not actually using, uh, we're not utilizing these, um, these things anymore. Are you not producing? Oh, you are producing. You're just very slow at it. Just fair enough. Wait, you don't have any batteries? How is that possible? What? You don't have any batteries because you're not loading. Oh, it's... Oh, I see what happened. I, I, I know exactly what happened here. Right, okay. Okay, that's easy enough to resolve, right? We just need to clear this out until it stops giving us garbage. Let's it stop spitting out the uh, garbage. There we go. Alrighty then, lovely. That is no longer broken once again. It's always lovely to see. Alright, now we should start to produce our science packs. Which is actually pretty damn nice. Yeah, all of our science packs just got broken. I mean, it's gonna happen. It's definitely one of those things that is gonna happen eventually. Your science packs will just break down. Um, yeah, eventually you'll have logistical issues like this. Um. You're using all of the stone bricks. All of them. Could you not use all of them? Please. Please stop what you are doing. Okay, it has stopped what, is it, what it is doing. We are fine. All right, good. Meanwhile, you should very slowly be producing the much needed um, thing, the uh, the electric furnace, the electric furnaces, and then once those are built, are you actually producing at a fast enough rate? That's like five seconds. Yeah, it only takes like five seconds for these to be produced. It's just that you don't have enough stone bricks. Man, we might need to double the stone brick produced uh, production. It's not that hard to do. We'll just get like a couple more. Uh, we'll get like, we'll use steel furnaces. Honestly, I'm not going to go electric up there because it would just be, eh, eh, I could, I could go electric. I could, but I don't feel like it. Okay, let us double then the, uh, the stone brick manufactory. Uh, we'll just add like two more to the line, which we can easily handle. Downshot is that it's gonna require me to uh, to uh, do a very similar 
We're gonna have to like, uh, we're gonna have to like move all this crap. Okay. Let's figure out how we want to do this. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of cog wheels, which does suck a little bit. Right, for a start off, you're gonna go over here. Um, right. And then this can be, re and then this can, uh, be the overload, the overload box, which can be an actual, let's get you like a steel chest. Fancy steel chest. The fancy steel chest. No! Balls. Okay. Try that again. Okay, now you're gonna very slowly trickle that in. Beautiful. And then you are going to take this going this way, and then this going that way. And then you can quite frankly go down here. Brilliant. Okay. And now I can quite frankly get this down. It's a little bit of a drunk setup. It's a little bit of a spaghetti, but you know what? It's fine. It's a little bit spaghetti uh, spaghettified, but it is alright. It'll do. That'll do. May as well upgrade these for the laws. Just for the shits and giggles. There we go. So that should allow double the stone brick output, which I will like to see. There you go. Double our stone brick production. Right. There we go. So that should help out a lot uh, to help us get those science packs being made because ultimately we just didn't have enough stone bricks, which is perfectly, which is completely easy to resolve. Completely easy to get, get resolverated. Rightio. Now that that's been fixed, we should. Uh, have a lot less issue with our setup now. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have a lot less issue. I'm hoping we are slowly trickling by those uh, production packs. Um, how are we doing on the other packs that got broken a while ago? Uh, which I believe are these. Wait, how are you not producing enough? Ba oh, you are producing enough batteries. Never mind. Okay, we're good. We are all right. It's all all right. It's all all right. There we go. And now this should start to produce bricks. If it's slow, as it slowly trickles down the line. There we go. Slowly trickling down the line. There we are. Lovely. Fantastic. Why? Okay, here's my question of the day. Why is this going all the way over here? That should really not be going all the way over there. That should, um... I don't know why I keep doing that mistake. Anyway, though. Wait, these require two? No, they say they require one. But you're grabbing twice as many as you need. Ugh. E boy. You know what? I might just go ahead and get a second assembly machine. It is easy enough to resolve a rate. Right. We can just have like something like uh like this very similarly. You should dump out onto the far side. I believe, but don't quote me, that you will dump out on the far side if I do that. But I'm not entirely sure. I could be making myself out to be a liar. But I'm honestly not sure. I think if I do this... Oh, well, first of all, it needs to actually be powered. There we go. Power that. Is that going to dump out on the far side like we need? Like, let's examine this for a moment. Is that going to dump out on the far side? You should. Yes, you will. You are contributing. Which is lovely to see. There we go. So that should allow us to run a lot more uh, science pack producers. Because we do need to get a lot of science packs. A lot, a lot. We might even upgrade this even further and get like... Because that's only allowing us to power like two of these. Man, you need like a fuck ton of these. You need like a fuck ton of... 
Which is going to require more stone bricks. <laughs> Actually, is that our issue? Yeah, yeah, we don't have enough stone bricks to run two of these. I, I genuinely thought for a second there that was an issue with the, um, but no, it was actually all the issue was, was just that we didn't have enough, uh, we don't have enough stone again, which is easy enough to fix. That's all right. I, I that, if it's just a distribution issue, then this should be easy enough to resolve, right? gonna go all the way back up here and just fix the rate that man i thought we were gonna get closer to uh to the end uh, man you just never get anywhere near like the uh like the things that you need um right okay we're gonna have to move this up even further oh man that sucks i should have used a, an actual like expandable how would i how would i like put the word like a modular Modular setup? Is that the fancy English? Look, English is like just a redonkulously hard language. Like, they expect you to learn foreign languages, and I'm like, man, I barely speak the English. Just like, I barely speak the English. Right. Go ahead and power all of these. Oh shit, I keep putting them not in the right place. Oh. There we go. Now that should be producing a lot more stone bricks. May as well upgrade this to the fast. I mean, we have plenty of fast belts, so we may as well do it. You know what? Just for the sake of overboardness, do it. Give it a give it an uh, give it a stack inserter. Oh wait, that stack actually won't work like that. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. That actually won't work because um, obviously it's only on one side. So you know, it's not actually. Wait, did I not? I didn't actually output these. Boop. Boop. I derped. A little bit of derping. There we go. We have underpified. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's wait, six? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. One, two, three, four. Then this is about where you could have Oh, I can't actually put it. Can't actually put like a, a balancer. Unless I move things around. I guess I'll have to. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's probably fine. There we go. So we're now getting a significant trickle of uh, stone bricks down here, which should help out a lot in uh, getting ourselves some more production science. I believe that's the one. Is, is the purple one production? I'd like to say it is. Yes, it is. It's production science. That was the one indeed that I was thinking of. And it produces about two at a time. Which is always great to see. Yeah, it's just that it's gonna take a minute. But this should allow us to get like enough stone brick down the line. Hopefully. I'm kind of hoping. Yeah, it's kind of working out. I'm, I'm starting to get a backlog. It's just a very slow backlog, but it is sort of backlogging. We're still only able to power like three of these. All right, then get like another one. I mean, we're just gonna keep expanding until it's all saturated. Until the line is saturated. I mean, that's the only way we can figure out what the ratios are, is if we just keep expanding until it's saturated. One by one like this, eventually you're gonna figure out the perfect amount to put in. We'll eventually figure this out, it's just gonna require a lot of head scratching. 
A lot of head scratching. A lot of like, just like guesswork. I mean, that's pretty much 90% of what I'm doing is just kind of guessing and going like, right, well, it's not saturating. So that means I need more. Let's see if this helps. Let's try a third one of these. Come on, baby. I think three of these is going to work out all right. Three to five appears to be working. Three to five appears to be the magical number. Okay, if you're a newbie Factorio player, I now know that three to five is a good ratio. Okay, three to five definitely works. We're, we're good. We have got, we have figured out the magical number for Factorio. It is a three to five ratio with assembly machine twos. Actually, I think you could use any assembly machine realistically. Um, but yeah, if you're using like a, if you're, if you're figuring, if you can't figure out what the perfect number is to get all five of these running, it's a three to five. The three to five, we know this now. We know it's a three to five, we're good. That is going to help out a lot. Are there any other science packs that aren't really being produced that well? Um, these guys are not. And they're not being produced because there's not enough. There's not... Uh, we need to get a second assembly machine. We are... Oh my god, we'd have to blow up this whole thing. Well, let's do it then. Let's get rid of all this... I, I'm sorry, but this defensive structure is going to have to go. We're going to try and optimize this as best as we can. Oh, my pickaxe broke. Damn it. Crap, my pickaxe broke. I seriously don't know why the sound keeps going out on a Factorio. I am definitely going to be reporting this to the developers and complaining. I'm going to be complaining all... I'm going to be doing all the complain ratings. Right, let's go ahead and get, like, some more of these, um... Let's start out with just one more and see if that works. It might. How did we have this before? Like, which side is which? Oh, I see. So you then have something like this. No, that's backwards. Honestly, do you really need speed modules? I'm not really sure that you do. I don't know. Seems a little bit excessive to me. Let's try it without for right now. That should work, I think, if I do. And then the question is, is that now we need to actually get this. Uh, put that there, and then just feed it into the like. Oh wait, that's supposed to be... Oh, I see what I've done. Okay. I, I see what's going on. Right. Yeah, we did actually need those speed modules. As it turns out, those speed modules were actually doing a thing. That was helping out a lot. So now that should be cut in half, so that's roughly seven seconds. Seven seconds between the two of these should equal one uh, processing unit. Or I'm sorry, science. Speed module, that's the word, speed module. The thing that does a thing, right. There we go, we now have the processing unit. You know what we can build later on is we could get like, um. You get, like, power armor. That might not be a uh, bad idea later 